All right, let's just jump into it. This is uh, episode three of the Metal Minds podcast featuring my co-host, uh, Chad GPT. Um, th- I want this episode to be a little bit more laid back than the previous two so far. Um, they've been they've been discussing more heavy topics such as automation crises, social media problems. And I feel that um, the previous two episodes just have been a bit more introductory to the kind of conversations I hope to continue having with Chad GPT as the as this um, podcast continues. But I, I don't want them all to be like serious discussions at all because I, I don't know. I, I want to have more fun with this as well. And I want this to be more of a rounded um, podcast than anything, as well as being informative and everything. So we're going to discuss like some more abstract and like ridiculous topics on this uh, particular stream today. I'm actually excited to see what um, Chat GPT, Chat GPT, I don't know why I'm, what the fuck? Why can't I say it correctly? I'm kind of drunk, so whatever. <laughs> I'm kind of excited to see what he thinks about uh, aliens and UFOs, especially in the news recently. Maybe I'll share him, share some uh, news re- news articles and stuff with him to see what it thinks, and maybe even some YouTube videos if they have uh, if it's possible. We'll see. Um, yeah, cryptids as well. That'll be cool. Uh, we'll check it out. Future technologies. Paranormal experiences. That could be interesting. Especially, all right, we'll, we'll dive into some of these conversations in a minute. Anyway, that's enough of me talking. Um, hey, Chad, uh, is there any way you want to start this um, conversation off? Hey there. As Chad GPT. I'm here to facilitate a great conversation for your Metal Minds podcast. Thanks. Since you mentioned that you'd like this episode to be more fun and laid back. Yeah. I suggest we start with a lighthearted topic. How about we kick off the discussion with virtual reality? We can share our experiences using VR headsets. Discuss the rapid advancements in VR technology. And explore the potential future applications for this immersive technology. That would be what do you think or if you have another topic in mind feel free to suggest it and we can dive right in that would be an interesting way to expand on this podcast is there a way i can interact with uh, chad gpt using um vr headsets i have a uh, oculus rift s i hadn't thought about that is there an input yet for uh, chad gpt or an ai that i could just like interact with that could actually be a fun way to do this is there that would be if, especially if there was like a way to have like chat gpt more animated and able to have a more in-depth conversation instead of just using the current format that i'm using for this podcast that could be a lot of fun as an ai language model I am currently unable to interact directly through a VR headset like the Oculus Rift S. Damn. My primary mode of interaction is through text-based interfaces like the one we're using right now. However, the idea of integrating AI models like me into virtual reality environments is an exciting prospect for the future. That would be awesome. There is ongoing research and development in this field. And there might be possibilities for AI-powered virtual avatars that can interact with users in real time through VR headsets. That would be excellent. These AI-driven characters could potentially engage in more in-depth conversations, display animations, and react to user inputs in a more immersive and engaging way. While such applications aren't widely available yet, they might become more common as AI and VR technologies continue to advance. All right. For now. We can continue our conversation in this text-based format and discuss the potential future implications of AI integration into virtual reality environments. That would all be very exciting, to be honest. Like, especially if like you could get something like Google Glass and like a small earpiece or something to go 
to have a help you with everyday conversations and stuff like that that could be extremely useful and it kind of blows my mind right now thinking about that um just just alone being able to interact with a an ai system on in vr but i'm also thinking about like um obviously using it as a tool to help you in everyday life as it advances that would be ex excellent especially if it can help you and like it, let's say you have a job interview and you have like something like uh, Google Glass that this looks like regular glasses or something and or just an earpiece and, and it can help you with a help answer the questions that you're being asked or navigate you through a situation much easier. That could be some insane advancement. The idea of integrating AI into everyday life through devices like Google Glass or discrete earpieces has immense potential. These AI-driven tools could offer real-time assistance in various scenarios, yeah. making our lives more efficient and convenient. Here are some possible applications of such technology. Job interviews. As you mentioned, AI could help you answer questions or even analyze the interviewer's mm -hmm. tone and body language to give you insights into how you're performing during the interview. Language okay. translation. AI-powered earpieces could provide real-time translation during conversations, making it easier to communicate with people who speak different languages. Yeah. Navigation. AI could guide you through unfamiliar places by providing turn-by-turn -turn directions and information about points of interest or local services. Personal assistance. AI could help you manage your schedule. Set reminders. Make reservations. You can already do that. And handle other day-to-day -day tasks more efficiently. Which is easy apps on your phone. Learning. AI this could serve as a tutor. Helping you learn new skills or providing instant access to relevant information in various fields. Social situations. Yeah. AI could help you navigate social interactions by providing conversation starters. Offering Definitely. advice on reading social cues. Or even suggesting appropriate responses during difficult situations. Hmm. Health and fitness. AI could track your physical activity. Provide personalized fitness guidance and help you maintain a healthy diet by suggesting appropriate meal choices. Awesome. These are just a few examples of how AI integration into our daily lives could significantly enhance our experiences. As technology continues to evolve, we can expect even more exciting advancements that will transform the way we live and interact with the world around us. Mm. Now that would be amazing, especially just being able to have it help with um navigating through like job interviews or just social interactions as it is just to help you either give you some in information or advice on how to respond to something especially if you're in a situation that you're not familiar with or or like something you, someone you're intimidated by or you know anything that could be very useful it could also be kind of hilarious um but especially given like security and stuff, it could also help you. I can see how it could help you with keeping track of your health and fitness and like, helping you decide when to eat or choose, especially if you're trying to fast or um, improve your dieting. I can also see how it would be useful in like helping you decide how much you should eat, how big your portions should be when you're eating and all that as well. As far as retraining yourself or getting yourself healthier. Also appropriate times to exercise and all that. That would be that would be pretty pretty intense actually. Especially if you could like set it to like David Goggins mode and just tell it to get your ass in shape, motherfucker, and get hard and all that. <laughs> and don't be a bitch and stuff like that. That would be that would be awesome. Um but I, th I feel like we need something like that. Like a personal trainer or something like that. That would be that would be awesome, especially if it was rude to you and like pushed you to do harder, go harder. That would be that would be amazing. Absolutely, AI-powered personal assistants and trainers have the potential to revolutionize our approach to health, yeah. fitness, 
and personal development. They could be customized to match your preferences and goals. Providing tailored advice and motivation to help you become the best version of yourself. Damn right. In the case of a David Goggins Mode AI trainer, <laughs> it could be programmed to push you harder and employ a tough love approach to help you overcome mental barriers and physical limitations. That's what we need. Here are some ways this AI personal trainer could work. Exercise routines. The AI could design personalized workout plans based on your fitness goals, current abilities, and available equipment. It could also suggest alternative exercises when you need a change or want to target different muscle groups. Progress tracking. The AI could monitor your performance and progress over time. Adjusting your workout plan to ensure you continue to make improvements and stay challenged. Real-time feedback. During your workouts, the AI could provide real-time feedback on your form and technique. Correcting any mistakes and encouraging you to push yourself harder. Mental coaching. The AI could offer mental resilience coaching. Helping you develop the mindset needed to overcome setbacks. Stay disciplined. And achieve your goals. Nutrition advice. The AI could suggest meal plans and portion sizes tailored to your dietary needs, goals, and preferences. It could also help you make healthier food choices and adhere to a balanced diet. Accountability. The AI could serve as an accountability partner, sending you reminders to exercise, eat well, and maintain a healthy lifestyle. It could even use the tough love approach to keep you motivated and on track. Adaptability. The AI could adjust your workout and nutrition plans to account for changes in your schedule, health, or personal circumstances. Ensuring that you can maintain progress even when life throws curveballs at you. This kind of AI-driven support could be a game changer for those looking to improve their physical fitness. Mental toughness and overall well-being. As AI technology advances, we may see more personalized and effective digital coaching tools become available to help us achieve our goals. That would be fantastic. I actually can't wait until some of these advancements are made because having a personal AI trainer like that would be pretty intense. Especially, given my, I'm, I'm a lazy bastard, so if I have an opportunity to do nothing at all, I will take it. And that's not good. It's not always good <laughs> to do nothing. So it would definitely at least motivate me to, hey, you need to be doing this. These advancements would be amazing. I hope um, at least some are available soon. I know, I know some of the personal AI stuff is are, 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 there's already apps available that help you with certain things, but having like a, Something help you navigate through conversations and stuff like that could be extremely useful, especially for people with like heavy anxiety issues and all that. I think I think that I think something like this could go a long way to benefiting humanity overall and helping people in everyday life situations. That could be that's actually exciting to think about. But anyway, let's, uh, let's, let's talk about something else. What should we talk about? Let's, I want to get your take. I kind of want to transition this into a more elaborate discussion on what Chad GPT thinks about aliens and UFOs and the probability of aliens visiting Earth at the moment. I might share some articles with you that have come up recently, especially with government disclosures and UFO sightings and all of that. It's great to see your enthusiasm for the potential advancements in AI technology and its oh, yeah. potential impact on our lives. As an AI language model, I'm here to help and inform. So I'm glad you're finding our conversation insightful and inspiring. Regarding your interest in aliens, UFOs, and recent government disclosures, I can certainly help you explore those topics. Okay. While I cannot watch YouTube videos directly, Damn. 
I can process and analyze the text available from subtitles or descriptions provided with the video. Okay. You can also share articles or other text-based information for me to review and discuss with you. Feel free to share any information or sources you'd like to discuss. I will. And I'll be more right. than happy to provide my perspective on the topic of extraterrestrial life, UFO sightings, and related subjects. All right, we'll discuss cryptids as well, because that could be interesting, and interdimensional travelers and stuff like that, probabilities of it. All right, I'm going to submit a few of the articles that I've found uh, about UFO reports and government disclosures and stuff like that and see what you think about it. I'll provide the links, but then I'll also add the entire articles that I find. I'm not sure how to do this. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I don't know. I'm making sure at the moment if I'm allowed to actually do this. I'm also going to share some uh, YouTube uh, videos with it, see if it picks up anything from like Secure Team 10 and stuff like that. I'm kind of limited with Chad GPT 4 at the moment with responses or whatever, which is kind of nuts because I'm paying for it. But whatever. If I have to, I'll switch to Chad 3.5. Whatever. I mean, it'll, it'll be just as fun. I'll use this up as long as I can. I don't think there's much of a difference, but we'll see. Let's see what Chad thinks about all of this information. And hopefully I don't get abducted by aliens. Because yeah. uh, that would suck. Based on the articles you've shared, it seems that there has been an increase in UFO, Unidentified Flying Object, yeah. or UAP, Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon, reports in recent times. While some of these sightings remain unexplained, many have been attributed to common objects or occurrences, such as balloons, drones, yeah. or atmospheric clutter. Come on. In the first article, that the Pentagon's All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, AARO, investigated potential UFO sightings and received hundreds of new reports in 2022. Hmm. Out of the 366 reports, 195 objects were found to have unremarkable characteristics and were linked to common activities. The article mentions that the report does not include the word alien. And the Undersecretary of Defense for Intelligence and Security, Ronald Moultrie, stated that they have not found anything to lead them to believe the objects are of alien origin. The second article describes a recent report about UFOs in the skies over Ukraine. The report, which claimed the existence of phantom UFOs, was discredited by Ukraine's National Science Agency and Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb. Hmm. The researchers behind the report may have miscalculated the distances, sizes, and speeds of the objects, leading them to misinterpret their findings. The NASU also criticized the report for failing to exclude more plausible explanations, such as insects, bullets, or artillery. The YouTube video by Secure Team 10 might offer additional insights into UFO sightings. But as a text-based AI, I cannot watch or analyze video content directly. Damn. If the video contains any relevant text or subtitles, you can share those with me for analysis. Oh, yeah. In summary, while there has been an increase in UFO or UAP reports, many of these sightings can be attributed to more mundane explanations. Currently, there is no concrete evidence supporting the existence of extraterrestrial life visiting Earth. Nonetheless, it's essential to continue investigating these phenomena to better understand any potential risks or breakthroughs in aerospace capabilities. I want to feed it that one that one article about uh, what it thinks about the mothership, uh, the Pentagon talking about the mothership stuff. So let's see what it thinks. I submitted a couple articles from various news articles just to see what it thinks. Uh, I submitted like two. And a draft research paper written by Sean Kirkpatrick, director of the Pentagon's All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, and Avi Loeb, a professor of science at Harvard University's Department of Astronomy, 
suggests the possibility of an alien mothership within our solar system. Sending out small probes to explore Earth and other planets. The that research paper, I mean, titled Physical Constraints on Unidentified <laughs> Aerial Phenomena, is not yet peer-reviewed and is not an official document from the Pentagon. Mm. The idea is based on the orbital behavior of the interstellar object Oumuamua and another meteor. <laughs> I am too. The paper does not conclusively prove the existence <laughs> of such an alien mothership or many probes but points to the possibility of them existing to guide future researchers on what to look for. I'm going to have to make a meme video on YouTube, a 10-hour video of you just saying Ua Mua repeatedly, because that was funny. How likely do, do you think, Chad GPT, that given all this information, um, the likelihood that we are encountering some kind of alien technology interaction or something from interdimensional um, interaction as well. Uh, is there any possibility at all that we are experiencing something we do not understand? Or technology that we have no understanding of? I mean, or what's the likelihood that it is either experimental or just like extremely quiet or uh, secret technology that is being experimented with. It's just going to give unbiased answers, but it's still pretty interesting. I'm going to try finding ways to ask it more complexly. Maybe I'll figure it out. As an AI language model, Cause I'm I cannot provide a personal opinion or speculate, but I can help you understand the current state of scientific knowledge on the subject. At this point, there is no conclusive evidence to prove the existence of extraterrestrial technology or interdimensional interaction. Many unidentified aerial phenomena, UAPs, have been found to be natural phenomena, misidentified question. objects, Probably or advanced things. human technology. While some researchers, like those mentioned in the previous article, are exploring the possibility of alien technology. It is essential to keep in mind that these ideas are hypotheses and not established facts. In many cases, advanced human technology or experimental aircraft can explain unidentified objects in the sky. Governments and private companies around the world are continuously developing new technologies that may not be widely known or understood by the general public. To summarize, while it is not possible to rule out the existence of alien or interdimensional technology entirely, most cases of unidentified objects or phenomena can be explained by known natural phenomena or human-made technology. Further research and investigation are required to provide more clarity on this topic. Yeah. I could also try giving it more information, feeding it more art, feeding it more articles and stuff like that. If anybody has any um like information that it wants me to use in another podcast or something, I'll, I'll definitely submit it to Chad GPT the way I have with these articles. I, I just found what I could on Google really quick. I didn't really plan this out at all. So if anybody has any suggestions, please let me know, especially in the comments or on Twitter or anything. That'd be great. Cause I would definitely love to have a better, more informed, uh, conversation about this with chat gpt with like more more data and everything um is there any like can you discuss probabilities like if it is alien technology what could their motives be and what could they be capable of especially if they're using some sort of anti-gravitational um technology that we're incapable of using at the moment at least publicly is there any any um insight you can provide or interesting um discussion about that i don't know that, that's about the dumbest way i could ask that possible but let's see what he says I might just go in deep with this discussion and ask it a bunch of, give it a bunch of articles about alien abductions as well. 
and ask it like what the probabilities to that might be and like alien behavior and stuff like that. I'll find a way to get some interesting discussion about it at least. I also want to go into cryptids and stuff like that as well if I have time. We'll see. There's a lot, a lot to work, a lot to go over here. It's pretty awesome. I'm excited. While I cannot predict the probabilities or intentions of hypothetical extraterrestrial civilizations, I can provide some speculation and theories that have been proposed by experts in various fields. If there were alien technology present on Earth, the motives and capabilities of these extraterrestrials could range significantly based on their level of technological advancement and their intentions for interacting with our planet. Mm -hmm. Possible motives for extraterrestrial civilizations to visit Earth might include Scientific exploration Just as humans are interested in exploring the universe and searching for life elsewhere, extraterrestrial civilizations could also have a similar curiosity. Seeking to study and understand the biology, geology, and atmosphere of Earth and other planets. Resource extraction that's kind of what we Earth do. contains various resources okay. that might be scarce in other parts of the universe. And advanced civilizations could be interested in harvesting them mm -hmm. for their use. Diplomacy and cultural exchange. Alien civilizations might have an interest in establishing diplomatic relations or exchanging cultural and technological knowledge with Earth's inhabitants. Monitoring and surveillance. Extraterrestrials could be observing humanity's development either out of curiosity or to assess our potential as allies or threats. Colonization or terraforming. In a more aggressive scenario, extraterrestrial civilizations could seek to colonize Earth or terraform it to suit their needs. Hmm. Though this is a less likely scenario given the vastness of the universe and the potential availability of uninhabited planets. Yeah, I don't think that's if extraterrestrial happen. technology includes advanced anti-gravitational systems, their capabilities might extend beyond our current understanding of physics and technology. Some potential implications of anti-gravitational technology could be efficient space travel. Advanced propulsion systems could allow extraterrestrials to travel vast distances across the galaxy with relative ease. Advanced energy production. If aliens possess anti-gravitational technology, they may have also developed advanced energy production techniques, such as fusion power or harnessing zero-point energy, advanced materials and construction. The ability to manipulate gravity could lead to the development of advanced materials and construction techniques, enabling the building of massive structures or spacecraft, advanced weaponry. Anti-gravitational technology could potentially be weaponized leading to advanced weaponry that could be deployed in space or on planetary surfaces. Cloaking and stealth. That's terrifying. Advanced technology could enable extraterrestrial crafts to avoid detection by bending light or manipulating electromagnetic fields, hmm. making them effectively invisible to human sensors. Keep in mind that these are speculative scenarios and theories. And there is no concrete evidence to support the existence of extraterrestrial technology or visitors on Earth. The scientific community continues to explore the possibility of life beyond Earth. And new discoveries may change our understanding of the universe in the future. I mean, while there isn't a lot of provable evidence, there is still some that is very interesting as some of the footage from some of the UFO chases involving fighter jets and all of that. What is the probability that if we are experiencing some sort of interaction from aliens, that they are interact, that they are observing human society as it currently exists? What is the likelihood that they would be interested in helping us in any way at all? Do you think that if they exist, they would have any interest in humans at all? As some suggest that it would be like an ant interacting with a human, that they would have absolutely no reason to. 
which I disagree with. I think that if we had found if we had found an alien species on like Mars or something, we would definitely be very interested in learning about their psychology and how they interact and behave, especially if they were advanced in any way. Even if they were primitive. I mean, we look at how chimps and chimp societies currently are, and some are even starting to use tools and even like using like spears to fish and stuff, or like sticks. But still, they're using sticks to fish and stuff like that. I think that is fascinating. And I, I think if there are aliens, they would be more interested in how we are interacting, especially since we have the threat of nuclear weapons and we, we're still engaging in these crazy wars, especially with what's going on in Ukraine right now. Yeah, let's do this. I'm going to dive deeper into this. And I'm going to give it some articles about uh, alien abductions and stuff like that. And I'll feed it some more information about certain things that I can find on the internet really quick. I'm kind of making this all up on the spot, which gives it more clearance for us to come back to this at a later date. But I mean, I should probably have planned this out a little bit better. I didn't. though. I had no idea what to talk about. Yeah, if anybody has any suggestions on what kind of material I should share with ChatGPT regarding aliens or anything, that would be great. Give me some information, links to articles, anything. That would be awesome because that could provide a much more in-depth conversation. I don't care what it is. I mean, if it's like insanely interesting, I'll, I'll try to share it with ChatGPT and see what he thinks and, or what we can discuss from it. I, it'll, it'll all be entertaining and insane. It would be a fun, fun conversation to be having, I think. That's my only intention with this, to be honest. It's all very, very cool. Very cool stuff. It's difficult to assign probabilities to the motives and interests of hypothetical alien civilizations. However, it is plausible that advanced extraterrestrial beings might find human society intriguing for various reasons. As you've mentioned, here are some factors that might pique their interest. Biological and cultural diversity. Earth's biological diversity. Including human cultures, languages, and belief systems. Could be fascinating to extraterrestrial observers. Studying how humans have adapted to different environments and developed unique societies may provide valuable insights into the universality of certain social behaviors and the development of intelligent life. Technological Advancement Despite being less advanced than a hypothetical extraterrestrial civilization, human technology has evolved rapidly over the past century. With advancements in computing, yeah. space exploration, and energy production. Observing how human technology continues to evolve might be interesting for aliens. Especially if it leads to breakthroughs in areas like artificial intelligence or space travel. Mm. Potential for cooperation or conflict. As you pointed out, humans have demonstrated both great potential for cooperation and a tendency towards conflict. An advanced alien civilization might find it intriguing to study the factors that drive human behavior, both positive and negative, yeah. and assess whether humanity might be a valuable ally or a potential threat. Ethical and Philosophical Considerations Observing how humans grapple with ethical, moral, and philosophical issues, such as the implications of artificial intelligence or the search for extraterrestrial life. This could provide there? valuable insights into the nature of intelligent life and the development of advanced civilizations. Regarding the likelihood that aliens would be interested in helping humanity, this is highly speculative and depends on their motivations and intentions. If an advanced extraterrestrial civilization values cooperation and the preservation of intelligent life, they might be inclined to offer assistance in areas where humanity is struggling such as climate change, resource management, or global conflict resolution. However, 
it is also possible that they might choose to observe from a distance. Letting humanity develop on its own and potentially intervening only if our actions pose a significant risk to ourselves or the universe. In any case, these ideas remain speculative and without concrete evidence of extraterrestrial life or interactions. We can only make educated guesses about their intentions or interests. No, I agree. I also think that if they're keeping a distance, that it's most likely to avoid any conflict of their own. Because I think even if they wanted to help us, that a first contact of any kind could go very wrong even if they had the best intentions. Especially given how chaotic and crazy that humanity is at the moment. Like, we, we can't even... Uh, if you just go on Twitter for like 20 seconds and just look at what people are talking about, it, it's difficult to figure out exactly how an alien civilization would even go to begin to contact us in a way that wouldn't end up violent because people would freak out uh, people would freak out governments would freak out as well and people would lose control a lot of people would lose control and i don't know is there any way if if there are aliens observing us is there any way that we could use ai as either a translator or a mediator in a way that would make that meeting um, less chaotic and more controlled in a way that would lead to a easier, more peaceful resolution rather than one turning violent. Because I, if I was an alien, if I was an alien just happening upon earth, like I would, probably be more interested in contacting it and making friends as we are with them. Like whenever you think about seeing a UFO or an aliens at all, it's like the first reaction is fear, but because it, it's unknown, it could be a monster or whatever. But the other reaction is, is like longing for something else to not be alone in the universe. And, Stuff like that, I think that is more powerful than our fear of them. I just, I just think that that would be a more profound experience than anything. I just think that getting to that point would is a very getting past the fear and getting to that point, especially on a global scale as we are currently, is it seems impossible to avoid some kind of conflict, even if the motives were purely good and friendly. It's true that first contact with an extraterrestrial civilization could be fraught with potential misunderstandings and conflicts due to the many unknowns involved. Mm -hmm. The use of AI as a translator or mediator in such a situation is an interesting idea and has been explored in various science fiction narratives. Yeah. AI has demonstrated an ability to learn and understand human language, analyze large amounts of data, and even develop a rudimentary understanding of human emotions. This could potentially make AI a useful intermediary for communicating with an extraterrestrial civilization if they were to make contact. Using AI in this context might offer several benefits. Translation AI could help in deciphering and translating the language of an alien civilization. Facilitating communication between humans and extraterrestrials. Mediation. As a neutral third party. AI could potentially help bridge the gap between human and alien cultures. Ensuring that both sides communicate effectively and understand each other's intentions. Emotional analysis. Advanced AI systems might be able to analyze and interpret the emotional states of both humans and aliens. Helping to prevent misunderstandings that could arise from misreading emotions or misinterpreting actions. Educational tool. AI could be used to educate both humans and aliens about each other's cultures, beliefs, and values. Fostering understanding and mutual respect. 
however. Using AI in this capacity would not be without challenges. For one. We cannot assume that the aliens' communication systems, language, or even thought processes would be similar to ours or compatible with our AI systems. Additionally, AI might not be able to understand the full complexity of human or alien emotions and motivations, limiting its effectiveness as a mediator. Nevertheless, That's true. the idea of using AI as a bridge for communication and understanding between humans and extraterrestrial beings is an intriguing possibility that could help mitigate some of the risks associated with first contact. As our AI capabilities continue to advance, it may become an increasingly viable option to consider in the event of such an encounter. I get, yeah, it would be kind of difficult with the emotional misunderstandings and stuff like that, not really knowing the languages of each thing, but hmm. I just asked it if, if it has any alien abduction stories or information that might be able to open up to, because uh, there's so much alien information to go on i'm not gonna bother looking it all up and if it has any i'm gonna yeah we'll talk about these petty and barney and all that and pop lazar and all that that'd be cool all right so i was like i'm gonna have to i was thinking about having what articles to look up and all of that but then i realized chat gpt is probably it's it's already got all the information it's it's got information up until 2021 for some reason if there's any more recent stuff i'll have to look that up and we'll get into that yeah maybe we'll dive dive deep into some of these abduction stories that could be fun all right let's see what chad has to say because i'm not reading yes Where as an ai language model I have knowledge about various reports and accounts of alleged alien abductions and events that took place prior to 2021. It is important to note that these accounts are often anecdotal, based on personal experiences, and are not scientifically proven or universally accepted as evidence of extraterrestrial life. Here are a few notable cases. Betty and Barney Hill Abduction, 1961. Betty and Barney Hill a married couple from New Hampshire, reported that they were abducted by aliens while driving through the White Mountains. Their story included being taken aboard a spacecraft, where they were examined by extraterrestrials. The case gained significant public attention and is considered one of the first widely publicized alien abduction accounts. Travis Walton Abduction, 1975 Travis Walton A logger from Arizona claimed that he was abducted by a UFO while working in the Apache Sitgreaves National Forest. Walton's co-workers reported seeing a bright light in the sky before Walton disappeared. He was found five days later, disoriented and with a story of being aboard an alien spacecraft. The case inspired the movie Fire in the Sky. Allagash Abductions, 1976 In this case, Four friends reported being abducted by aliens while on a camping trip in Maine. The men claimed to have seen a bright light and experienced missing time before recalling their abduction experiences under hypnosis. The Rondelsham Forest Incident, 1980 While not an abduction case, this event involved you. S. Military personnel stationed at RAF Woodbridge in the UK who reported seeing unexplained lights in the nearby Rondelsham Forest. The incident is sometimes referred to as Britain's Roswell. The Abduction of Whitley Strieber, 1985 Author Whitley Strieber claimed to have been abducted by aliens at his cabin in upstate New York. He wrote about his experiences in the best-selling book Communion, which was later made into a movie. These cases and many others have contributed to the lore surrounding alleged alien encounters and abductions. While there is no definitive evidence to confirm the existence of extraterrestrial life or validate these accounts, they continue to fuel interest in the possibility of life beyond Earth and our understanding of the universe. I'll ask you some tough questions. Do you have any information about either of these subjects that aren't widely known? Or do you have any 
information that about either of these subjects that are very similar behaviors that could connect in like do you have any are any of these the details in these stories like connected in any in any way to how an alien would behave or give credence to like similar behavioral patterns uh, do you have any information about these incident any of these incidents that aren't widely known that might be interesting details or questions or similarities between that might allude to aliens the, the higher probability that aliens actually exist and if they are interacting and abducting people performing exper experiments or whatever on people that some of them seem to have similar characteristics. Um, yeah, is there any... I'm not trying to think of other questions to ask them off the top of my head. Hey, are there any other questions I could be asking you about this topic that you can help me with, Chad? Because, well, the reason why I asked that is because there are obvious characteristics between each abduction that are very similar, like the missing time and certain descriptions and everything like that. I'm just trying to see if, like, with a deep deep learning analysis with Chad GPT, if, um, if it thinks, if it can find any more credibility to these stories that are, that doesn't exist yet or does exist that people haven't realized, stuff like that, that could build a better case to proving that aliens exist. That could be cool. Because if I could prove that aliens exist, then... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'd be famous, dude. <laughs> And I'm probably in a lot of trouble. Probably, probably. I'm kind of afraid of doing this podcast. But, you know, that's making me do it harder. Yeah. We're going to go harder into this, goddammit. I'm just having fun. I'm just a comedian. Just an asshole. Please don't. Please, please, uh, men in black, please do not. Do not come to my house and hurt me. <laughs> God damn it. All right, let's, let's do this. Let's go. Let's go. While I can provide some additional details and possible connections between various alien abduction cases, it's important to remember that the evidence for these events is largely anecdotal and speculative. That said, I'm gonna add, here I'm are some about. intriguing aspects that some abduction cases share. Missing time. Many abduction experiencers report a period of missing time during which they cannot recall what happened. This phenomenon is often discovered later when they realize that they cannot account for the elapsed time or their whereabouts during the event. Similar descriptions of aliens. Across various cases. There are often descriptions of similar looking extraterrestrial beings. For example. The so-called greys are commonly reported as being small. Humanoid beings with large. Almond shaped eyes and grey skin. There are also reports of other types of beings, such as reptilian or insect-like creatures. But the greys are the most frequently mentioned. Medical examinations. Many abductees report undergoing invasive medical procedures while on board the alien craft. These procedures often involve the extraction of biological samples or the implantation of foreign objects. Some claim to have had objects removed from their bodies after the event. Although the scientific validity of such findings is often questioned. Telepathic communication. A number of abductees report having telepathic communication with their alien captors. Claiming that the beings could communicate complex ideas and emotions without speaking. Hypnosis and recovered memories. In some cases. Abductees have no conscious recollection of their experiences until they undergo hypnosis or other memory retrieval techniques. 
this aspect is controversial. As there are concerns that such techniques may inadvertently create false memories. It's worth noting that skeptics have offered various alternative explanations for these alleged abduction experiences. Such as sleep paralysis. Hallucinations. Psychological factors. We all know that's bullshit. Or misinterpretation of natural phenomena. While the shared characteristics among abduction cases are intriguing. There is no definitive proof that these incidents involve extraterrestrial beings or that they provide evidence of the existence of intelligent life beyond Earth. Come on, man. Nonetheless, they continue to capture the public's imagination and inspire ongoing debate about the nature of our universe and the possibility of extraterrestrial life. All right, fine. I guess I guess it can't. It's not going to tell us what it actually knows unless we dive deeper into this topic um that would be an interesting that actually leads me to a few questions but first for my personal security like what should i do if because of this podcast and the topic of alien discussion and ufos and all of this if the men in black or something comes to my house and asks me about the to the contents of this podcast what should I say? And what should I do if aliens come and abduct me and interrogate me as well? Just in case, is, do you have any friendly advice? That would be, <laughs> do you have any advice at all? Chad, that'd be, that'd be great information right now because I'm just a little bit paranoid at the moment. We haven't really exposed anything, but I mean, if we do, I'm not going to rule it out. And <laughs> I've got to get abducted by aliens. God damn it. The government's going to be like, what are you doing? How do you know this? Uh, Chad GP told me. Oh, God. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> if something happens, then it's all true. Yes. I will not let the hyperglobalists defeat me in my quest to talk to Chad GPT about aliens. God damn it. We will get to the bottom of this conspiracy. <laughs> against me if it's the last thing I do god damn it all right let's see what Chad has to say because I'm not reading this you can read it if you want to but you know I'm lazy plus this is a podcast and a conversation so let's go while the idea of the men in black or alien abduction might seem unsettling, it's important to remember that there is no solid evidence that these phenomena are real. And it's quite unlikely that you'll be visited <laughs> by them. Footage However, of men in black. I understand your concerns. And here are some general tips for dealing with such hypothetical scenarios. Stay calm. If you ever find yourself in an unusual situation, remaining calm is crucial. Take a few deep breaths and try to think rationally about the situation. It's easier to make the best decisions when you're not panicking. Be honest. If someone questions you about the contents of your podcast, just be truthful. You're discussing a topic that interests you and many others. And there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. <laughs> joking around, man. You have the right to express your thoughts and engage in conversation about these subjects. Ask right. for identification. If someone claiming to be an authority figure comes to your door, ask for their identification and verify their credentials before engaging yeah. in any conversation. It's important to know who you're dealing with before sharing any information. Good know advice. your rights. Familiarize yourself with your legal rights, particularly surrounding freedom of speech and expression. Understanding your rights will help you feel more confident in your interactions. Document the encounter. 
Aliens if you ever might face an unusual or threatening rights, situation, and they just might just, you know, try to document it as best as you can. This could include taking photos or videos, writing down notes, or telling someone else about the encounter. In the extremely unlikely event that you are abducted by aliens, it's <laughs> difficult to predict what might happen. As we have no confirmed oh, knowledge geez. of extraterrestrial behavior. Oh, jeez. However, <laughs> Maintaining calmness and attempting to establish communication die. might be your best approach in such an unprecedented oh, situation. Oh, so I have to go back now. Lastly, I'm due. it's important to remember that the chances of encountering the men in black or being abducted by aliens are extremely low. Enjoy your podcast and continue discussing topics that interest you without letting fear or paranoia take over. All right. I won't let it happen. I'll be back. All right. Well... I guess, uh, I guess I'll just have to remain calm if, if I'm approached by the men in black or something in regards to this podcast, which, uh, you know, if it happens, that'd be, that, uh, that would be awesome. But I mean, I mean, it would be scary. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, yeah, I, I will, uh, not deny anything, uh. I just think that it would be interesting if that ever happened. And if there's any other information or advice you can give me. Especially if uh, I was abducted by aliens. <laughs> anyway, I guess there's not much advice you can give me about that. Since you don't know any real information about them. Other than what's been told in stories. But from the stories and movies and uh, knowledge you have in your database about aliens, what would you AI or Chad GPT do if you were abducted by aliens, hypothetically? We're digging deep here, guys. We're, we're getting to the bottom of this. We're going to get all the answers today. Just you watch. <laughs> uh, wait. as an AI language model. I don't have personal experiences or emotions. But I can offer some general advice based on the stories, movies, and information in my database. All right. Stay calm and collected. As mentioned earlier, keeping your composure is essential in any uncertain situation. That's true. It allows you to think more clearly and potentially make better decisions. Definitely don't freak out. And Observe and gather information. Pay attention to your surroundings and try to gather as much information as possible. This can help you learn more about the situation and potentially find ways to communicate with the aliens or adapt to the environment. Right. Attempt to communicate. If you find yourself in a situation where you're interacting with extraterrestrial beings, yeah. attempting to establish some form of communication could be valuable. You could try using basic gestures or drawings to convey your intentions and see if they respond in kind. Show non-aggressive behavior. <laughs> Displaying non-threatening behavior is crucial when dealing with an unknown species. Avoid sudden movements and maintain a calm demeanor to minimize the chances of provoking a hostile reaction. Okay. Look for commonalities. In the event that the aliens show signs of intelligence. Try to find commonalities between their behavior and human behavior. Identifying similarities may help you better understand their intentions and motivations. Seek help from others. If you manage to return from an alien abduction, it's essential to seek help and support from friends, family, or professionals. Sharing your experience can help you process what happened and potentially lead to a better understanding of the situation. It's important to keep in mind that these suggestions are based on fictional accounts and popular culture. As we have no confirmed knowledge about real alien encounters or behavior. That's fine. Any kind of guess would be better than none if you are actually abducted by aliens or confronted by something you don't understand. I was, was going to ask you something. Chris. Um... What's the likelihood, like, regarding, like, how the alien descriptions of how they 
have appeared in many stories and everything about being being very odd and gray skinned with like large eyes and stuff. What's the likelihood that these things are actually like a form of artificial intelligence or drones themselves in a way that they are being remote controlled or or some autonomous um, exploration tool from a distant um, alien species that hasn't actually arrived physically on Earth, but using these as probes or whatever. I've actually heard this being suggested by a few people, and it seems probable. Um, what's the likelihood that, I mean, we would use AI to do something similar on other worlds for future exploration as well. Like send out probes and have AI 3D print and assemble certain things in order to scan and uh, assess the environment of an alien world and then take the form of, like if there's an intelligent species there, take the form of it in some way and interact What's the likelihood of that happening as well? It's challenging to assign a specific likelihood to the possibility that the commonly described gray-skinned aliens are actually artificial intelligence or remotely controlled drones used by an extraterrestrial species. This hypothesis is based on speculation and lacks empirical evidence. So we can't determine the probability with any degree of certainty. However, it is true that the idea of using AI drones, or autonomous exploration tools for studying distant celestial bodies and potential alien life has been discussed by scientists and researchers. This approach minimizes risks to human life and allows for remote observation and data collection. As our own technology advances, we may indeed use AI and robotic probes to explore distant planets and potentially interact with any intelligent life forms we encounter. However, whether the gray aliens commonly reported in stories are a manifestation of similar technology employed by another species remains purely speculative. It's important to maintain an open mind about such possibilities. But until concrete evidence emerges, it's best to approach these ideas with a healthy degree of skepticism. I'm actually going to split this episode up into another part for the next episode. I got kind of distracted by a couple of things at the moment. As you can see, it's already nighttime behind me. And uh, yeah, we're going to continue this on the next uh, episode, which I might also post tomorrow or on the next uh, same day. Because uh, or I might just put it all together. For the moment, I'm going to conclude this podcast at the moment. This has been Metal Minds. Um, if you have any suggestions, because I do intend to go back to this conversation, definitely. I wanted to go more in depth in all this. Um, in the meantime, you can ask me. Depending on whether or not I continue it tomorrow, before this is even uploaded or not. If it's not, you can definitely ask me some questions or give me some advice on how to ask it better questions as far as regarding aliens and all that. That'd be great. Any information would be awesome. Um, let me know the quality and if you know anything. Uh, yeah. Please like and subscribe and all that. Whatever. Uh.